a solution for this example as indicated here the decision is please Excel look at that cell if there's nothing there it must be a credit in which case we need a negative of that number so the if function the test is look in that cell and in this case I'm going to say is it equal to zero, zero. if it is equal to zero then I expect to see the negative of whatever's in that cell otherwise whatever's in that cell when I say OK that looks correct if I copy it one down it looks like it's doing the right thing okay, now I can copy it paste it here let's check if it's correct we get the correct answer in this example we want to compare the employees rating to the average and say above average if it is or below average if it's below we create an if function the logical test here is is this cell here bigger than and equals to whatever's in that cell there and because I know I'm going to copy it down if I copy it down initially it'll look at C31 but if I don't change this it'll start going 32, 33 so I'm going to put dollar signs on here if it's true that it's bigger than or equal to the average in inverted commas I'm going to put above average and if it's not bigger than or equal to the average then it must be below so we're going to say below average when I say OK I can copy it down and you'll see it gives me the ratings in this example we want to see which sales amount can get commission and anything equal to above 20,000 can get a 5% commission so I'm going to go if the logical test here is look at the sales and tell me are they bigger than or equals to whatever's in that cell because I'm going to copy it down I don't want this moving around so I'm going to put dollar signs on it if it is true that my sales are bigger than that 20,000 then I want to use the 5% and again I don't want it to move up and down when I copy it so I'm just going to put the dollar signs on if it's false then I don't want the person to get any commission so I'm going to put a zero here we can leave it like this in which case it will give us 5% etc or we could complete the calculation by saying take whatever you got in there and multiply it by the sales and when I say OK can copy it down and we get our calculation in this example we want to check what the scenario chosen is and then pull through the correct amounts so I'm going to create an if function when we're at units sold I'm going to say look at the unit scenario there and is it equals to 1 because I need to copy this across I'm just going to put dollar signs on here if it's true that it's a 1 I want it to give me that number if it's not a 1 it must be another number a 2 give me that number no dollar signs so that when I copy it across it flows along you can see that there we can now do the same thing with the selling price so the test here is look at the selling price scenario and is it equal to a 1 I'm going to put my dollar signs on if it is a 1 use that selling price if it's not a 1 use that selling price I can copy it across and now we've got a 
spreadsheet set up so that we can easily change for example the unit scenario to a 2 watch what happens here the numbers change and so do our revenues and maybe we can change the selling price scenario to a 2 and see how that changes in this example we want to allocate the hours worked by employees to normal time overtime and leave for short work so the first one is normal hours so we know that up to eight hours those are normal hours so we need to create something that looks at their total hours worked if it's eight or more we're going to put eight in the normal hours otherwise we must use whatever they've worked so we'll find the if function we're going to say look at that cell there is it bigger than or equal to eight if it is we're going to put an 8 in. If it's not, it must use whatever's in the cell. It's OK. To work out if overtime is due, again we build a F function. So what we're saying here is look at the hours worked. Are they bigger than or equal to 8? If they are bigger than or equal to 8, then take whatever hours were worked and subtract the 8 hours which is sitting in the normal time. If we're not bigger than or equal to 8 we must be less than in which case there's no overtime so we'll put a 0. And leave for short work. The logical test here is has the person worked less than 8 hours? If it's true that they've worked less than eight hours, then we're going to have to allocate some time to leave, and it's going to be the eight hours minus whatever the hours worked for. If it's not less than eight hours, then there's no leave required. We can put a zero. I can say OK. okay now take that and copy it, and you'll see it tells us the total hours, normal time, overtime, and leave.